Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ed Risk, and I'm San Francisco's transportation director. We got a little feedback. Sound okay? A little high? So back off a little bit? Back off, guy. Um, thank you all for coming out today. Uh, we're here to talk about the intersection of two things in San Francisco uh, that are very important here. One is parking and one is technology. Um, parking is important here in San Francisco because there's a lot, we're a very dense city. There's a lot of competition for the public rights of way. And therefore parking is something that people in San Francisco care about, get passionate about. And it's something that we at the SFMTA have to manage to make it work, to make it fair, to make it efficient, to make it work for transit, uh, which is our mandate in the city charter, to make parking and traffic enable transit to flow in keeping with the city's transit first policy. So parking is important. In order to manage it, what we need to do is we create rules and regulations, which a lot of people may not like, uh, but it's what we need to do to, to make parking work, to make transit work primarily. But the purpose of the rules and regulations are not to get people tripped up or caught up in them, um, but to, to make transit work to make transportation work in San Francisco, which leads us to technology. Technology is important because it helps us to be able to do things more efficiently and effectively and easily, but it's most important because most San Franciscos like technology, they have technology, and rather than us providing service that requires San Franciscans to work within our framework, we're bringing technology uh, to where people are. Most people have cell phones and smartphones, uh, so we're adapting our systems to work with what people have in their day-to-day -day lives. So what am I talking about? Um, joined by a, a great uh, group of people behind me are going to come and talk about a, a very exciting initiative that we're launching today um, that will be the one of the most significant things to hit parking in San Francisco in generations. And to, to kick this off, I'm very honored uh, to have a man for whom this technology actually isn't very important. And, and that's our, our Mayor Ed Lee. And the reason, the reason it's not important is not because he's the mayor and somebody else has to worry about parking for him, but it's because of something that I learned about him just a couple of months ago. Didn't come out in the campaign or in the media. Turns out that, that Ed Lee has parking karma. And anyone who lives in San Francisco knows what parking karma is. So he doesn't need it, but for the rest of us that don't have parking karma, we're here to talk about something that's really exciting for San Francisco. So without further ado, our Mayor, Ed Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Ed, I'll ride Muni more. Is, I, uh, first of all, never thought that we would give uh, Mr. and Miss Parking Meter so much attention in this city. Uh, but I want to uh, thank Ed Riskin for his leadership at our San Francisco MTA uh, President uh, Tom Nolan and his leadership at the uh, the board, uh, Supervisor uh, Scott uh, Weiner here today, and we're talk a little bit more about why we're here in this particular site. Uh, but it's a bustling commercial corridor, and th this is a great launch for the pay by phone program that we're announcing today. You know, last uh, earlier this year, I had the privilege of announcing SF Park, and to a great degree of uh, interest. Uh, a lot of hits on that application for SF Park. Uh, we rolled that out to, I think, the delight of many people who started using uh, that application to lessen the congestion when they're looking for parking in some of our very congested areas. Well, to the same vein, we're starting today here in our Castro District uh, to launch uh, the pay by phone program that will allow you to use your smartphone and be able to pay a parking meter and then to have an electron, electronic reminder sent to your cell phone while you're eating at a restaurant or shopping to remind you that uh, that uh, parking meter is up and you either replenish it or you get your business done and you don't suffer the consequences of potentially a $55 or if you're in downtown, a $65 ticket. It's not to say that we're decreasing the revenue for our muni, but I think that Ed Riskin and uh, the board has decided uh, these are conveniences that the public need to have uh, to reduce the congestion, to allow our uh, traffic congestion to be lessened, make it greater convenience and smarter the way we do things. 
I get to bring another thing, as I did uh, earlier this year, uh, to the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and that is to announce uh, with uh, Veris Technologies, who is our partner here today, uh, with this uh, pay-by-phone application, and to suggest to the rest of the Conference of Mayors that we're now an even cooler city. Because uh, we were cool last year with our Essa Park, now we get to announce another cool thing for our city. Uh, we're one of the first in the country to do this, uh, and we think it's going to work. It's going to be very exciting because who wouldn't want to have this application right at their fingertips and preventing uh, the hurt of a parking ticket, but also to use technology and blend it the right way. So I'm excited uh, that we're doing this here. We're launched here uh, with the meters that we already have because these are the updated meters that we've been able to install on 18th and 19th. And we'll begin it right here. We're going to roll it out to areas across the city, including West Portal, Glen Park, the Sunset, the Richmond, Outer Mission, Outer Polk, uh, multi-space meters, of course, downtown, and all the SF Park areas that we've uh, been announcing. Uh, we have to, of course, change out the old meters in order to do that. So we have to change those out quickly, get these smart meter technologies available. And the application is going to be made available beginning today on these, on these very streets. Uh, so you'll be able to see it in action. Uh, I think it's exciting. Uh, it's one of those things that I promised as a mayor of a really technology-driven, exciting city that we're going to be able to introduce the use of technology and make it really friendly for everybody. And for our shoppers who come here during the holidays for, uh, uh, for the Castro area, they're going to be able to see this right away and feel it and experiment with it as we roll it out to the other neighborhoods. So, Pay by phone launch is here. Uh, we're announcing it's a great, cool thing to use, and we're going to be able to use that all over the rest of the city. So again, thank you for our partners in the technology world, for, uh, for our pay by phone technology, to our board and to uh, Ed Riskin, and of course to their supervisor for allowing us to introduce it right here where we're going to see a lot of shopping and a lot of convenience, and I think a lot of happy faces where there are no uh, $55 tickets that could be uh, prevented from doing this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, the, the mayor mentioned the, the place we're in here, right in the Castro. Part of what managing parking is about is making it work for neighborhoods, uh, particularly for neighborhood commercial districts, to keep the, the turnover moving, to make it convenient. So if you are sitting in a restaurant or shopping, that you don't have to, to run out. So it's important to neighborhood businesses. It's important for neighborhood residents. Uh, this neighborhood is lucky, lucky to be represented by Supervisor Scott Weiner, who from his first day uh, on the Board of Supervisors has been a strong advocate for smart tra transportation policy. He also, uh, very importantly for San Francisco, is one of our representatives on the Metropolitan Transportation Commission is, and is really doing great things for San Francisco in terms of transportation. So we're happy and grateful uh, to him for hosting us here today, Supervisor Scott Weiner. Not for, uh, not for tall people. Um, so uh, uh, thank you, Ed, and thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, you know, one of the things, one of our goals in having smart uh, parking policies that so we actually get compliance is to make it as easy as possible for people to actually pay for that street parking. And I think we've seen over and over again that when we make it easy for people to pay, whether it's by credit card or by phone, uh, the number of parking tickets or parking ticket revenue goes down and parking meter revenue goes up. And that's exactly how it should be. People paying for parking and not being penalized and not coming away with that terrible uh, feeling. So we're lucky in this area that Noe Valley was one of the first neighborhoods to get credit card meters. And uh, I'm thrilled that the Castro is the first neighborhood uh, to get pay by phone. And uh, we really are uh, doing innovative work that's going to be a model for other cities and counties in the area and across the country. And so I'm just thrilled that we're doing this. So thank you very much. Thank you, Supervisor Weiner. Uh, the, the voters in 1999 created the MTA and established a board to create policies just such as this. And to, to do, to put policy into place such as SF Park, which is really groundbreaking in the country. We have now New York City following our lead in terms of some of the parking technology we're doing. 
really was groundbreaking stuff, was bold stuff for the MTA to support policy-wise, but also to put money behind to support our efforts to secure federal money. And, and that leadership is exemplified by the chairman of the board of the SFMTA, Mr. Tom Nolan. Thank you, and good morning. Uh, the MTA board has been looking for ways to be as creative as possible in using technology to assist our customers. We think the flexibility and convenience here are really important. Two things I'd like to point out are the cost to the MTA, as a, as a budget conscious uh, member of the board of directors, Mr. Mayor, appreciate this. This is all the, they're putting these stickers on there. It doesn't cost the MTA anything for this particular program, which is really exciting for us uh, because so many things cost so much money. Second thing, as, a, as an occasional driver around town, one feature on this is that when your parking is about to expire, there's a five-minute notice that we sent you a text message. I think people will really appreciate that. I hope that's the case. But this is another step forward by the SFMTA. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Supervisor Wiener, for your leadership. And we look forward to seeing the results very soon, starting here. There are going to be 30,000 in San Francisco, I understand, eventually. The largest city uh, to do this anywhere in the world. But thank you. So, so with, with leadership, uh, like you've seen from the three gentlemen behind me, um, they set a very clear course uh, and strong direction for us. There's a number of folks uh, within the MTA, once we have that leadership and direction, we need to execute. And I just want to acknowledge uh, just a, a few of the folks at the MTA who, who have gotten us to this point and who are driving this program forward. Uh, Jay Primus is kind of the, the, the project manager uh, for SF Park been a great leader, uh, really setting a nationwide model, um, working with uh, under Stephen Lee, working with Jason Lee, Alexi Zukenho, Lisa Foster, um, and I, I want to acknowledge uh, George Reynolds and the Meter Shop. They're the ones who are putting all this technology that the mayor talked about out on the street. And then, of course, our, our parking control officers, the PCOs, who have the handheld technology to make this work. They've got a very difficult job. They do it very well. So I want to acknowledge all the great SFMTA staff um, who have been behind this effort. And then finally, it's city staff partnering with the private sector. The mayor has been very strong in pushing both technology and partnership with the private sector. We have a great private sector partner here um, that has done this work elsewhere in the country and throughout the world, uh, and we're pleased to have them on board with us to put into place what will be, I believe, their biggest deployment worldwide. Uh, it'll be right here in San Francisco. So the the man behind the technology of pay by phone, Mr. Graham Bird. Uh, thank you, Director Riskin. Um, pay by phone, we're very excited to be working with San Francisco in implementing this proven and popular technology. It provides a convenient alternative to putting uh, coins in the meter, and the uh, reminder text messages have proved very popular around the world with people uh, wishing to avoid parking fines. Um, the joy of the system is it can be used on any cell phone, on any network. So even if you want to bring out your Motorola brick phone, it's still going to work. But having said that, we are breaking new ground here. Um, San Francisco will be the first city in the U.S. to implement NFC-enabled parking. And uh, by the time it's rolled out throughout the city, it will be the largest NFC uh, rollout anywhere in the world. So that's very exciting. The... Uh, the pay-by-phone uh, tags have embedded in them an NFC, a wireless um, tag, which means that any NFC-enabled phone uh, can simply be swiped in front of the meter to activate and start the parking session. Uh, whilst there's not that many phones out in the market at the moment which have NFC chips in them, uh, San Francisco will be ahead of the curve uh, in front of a significant rollout of these phones throughout 2012. And in addition to that, uh, we'll be able to benefit from the uh, sort of uh, multi-technology and the, the, the network effect of having these smart tags all over the city. So whilst that is groundbreaking technology that we're introducing, I would emphasize that the service is available on any mobile phone. And uh, all you need to do is dial this uh, toll-free number or download the app onto a smartphone or use the mobile web. Whatever method you use, the benefits are available. You can get reminder texts, um, as has been said, you have the convenience of not having to carry coins with you to pay for your parking. Uh, you can top up time remotely. You don't need to come back to your car. And, of course, you can get email receipts for your parking. So it's a very exciting technology. So Mayor Lee, uh, Supervisor Wiener, uh, Director Riskin, 
and of course uh, Chairman Nolan. Thank you very much. We're excited to be helping San Francisco making parking as, as good as it can get. So thank you. So thank you all. I want to, I'm going to show you, try to show you how it works in a second, but I just, I want to reemphasize a point that both the mayor and supervisor Wiener made. I mentioned that we, we regulate parking and traffic to make transportation and transit in San Francisco work. What we want is compliance with the parking regulations, not to catch people up in it. So in other words, we want people to, to fee the meters, to obey the rules so that we don't have to give them a ticket. And, and despite uh, people's thoughts to the contrary, what you know? What I want for the MTA is is not when you think of the MTA, think, oh, that those those are the people who gave me that parking ticket. I want I want the people of San Francisco to think when they think of the MTA, those are the people who helped me get where I where I needed to go, and and that's what this technology I think epitomizes that philosophy of the MTA to try to make transportation work here in San Francisco, and and this in this case in a kind of a fun and high tech way. So now I'm going to try to show you how it works. <laughs> So, so my uh, my uh, first generation iPhone is uh, is not is not as sophisticated as as these new ones. So, so all you do, um, again, as Graham said, you can just do this with a regular old cell phone. Uh, but if you have one of these uh, the newer phones that are out, all you do when you you get out of your car and safely and properly and legally park it, is you just tap. And you'll have to trust me because I know you can't see this. What what tapping did was it launched uh, the app that was already downloaded onto this smartphone, and it opened up my account if this were my device, and it tells me where I'm parked. It tells me uh, what time of day it is, and then it prompts me for a duration in minutes. So I can just type in. It's not my credit card, so I'll put in 200 minutes. I just, I just put in five minutes. <laughs> And it tells me how much it's going to cost. I actually, I put in, I think, five minutes. It's going to cost me 17 cents. It says confirm and charge parking. I click, I click the button, and boom, I'm good to go. And what's going to happen is I'll get a confirmation email if I've set it up that way. It's going to go directly to, to my credit card, which I've set up. And uh, it's a completely secure uh, credit card system for those concerned about uh, security and safety. Um, and then I'll get a text message update. Uh, reminding me that my meter is about to expire, and if I want to extend it, I can do it just as easily. That's all there is to it. If I don't have a smartphone, more or less the same process just by calling the 800 number. So very simple, easy technology, helps people be compliant, um, helps make San Francisco transportation work. So that's it. I want to thank you all for coming out. And for anyone who wants close-ups of the app, I think we have a, an iPad, and you can certainly look at this. And I want to thank you all for coming out today. Yeah, so there's a, a, a 45 cent fee. Um, this doesn't go to the MTA. This, this is the, basically a transaction between whoever's using it and, and pay by phone, and, and that's their cost for providing the service. Um, I, I think they're gonna, there's a, initially you get a couple of them free, just so you can try it out and see how it works. Uh, but if you compare 45 cents to the time it would take you to put down your fork and run out of the restaurant and fish for coins and put it in the meter. I think it's 45 cents well spent. And it's 45 cents as opposed to uh, the cost of a parking ticket is even a better cost benefit calculation. It's a per transaction, per transaction fee. As, as we deploy more in the city, you know, it's possible that the fee would go down in time, but you know, still compared to the cost of a parking ticket, it's a pretty good deal. So if I the meter a second time for I don't think they want to add 15 minutes Each time you transact, there is a, there is a uh, what's happening is there's a real-time authorization against your credit card and a settlement against your credit card. So as we all know, processing credit cards do, do cost, so there is a fee each time you uh, you transact. So um, we are looking at ways of reducing that fee um, in future, um, but to start with that, uh, that is the fee. Uh, well, obviously, in that in that 45 cents fee, uh, the vast majority of it goes to to paying the credit card for, uh, processing fee, and the, the the balance is covering our costs, and and it's really what our revenue. Costs. What's that, do you know what the breakdown is? Like how much you make on each 
It, dep it depends on what credit card you're using. Uh, so it varies depending on corporate credit cards. The charging is a lot higher. It can range anything from uh, credit card processing fee can range anything from 25 to 35 cents. It should show up there. That yeah. no, you won't. You won't see on the meter, um, and you don't need to worry about the fact that the meter doesn't get updated. Uh, when the enforcement officer comes around with their handheld and they put in the meter number, it will tell you that the car has been paid for, and, um, and uh, they know that it's been validly paid.